but it's a fuel pump. It's been giving us problems. It sounded like it was running lean, popping and banging, so uh, looks like I finally give up the ghost just around the corner, so we luckily had a spare. Luckily it wasn't that full, so we didn't kill ourselves trying to get it down. Got a noise and thought it was a rock arm and thought, thought it was a lifter and don't think it's that. It looks real good. Pulling the plugs down to see what they look like. But. Hey guys, Doug here from TBM and Motion Raceworks. If you haven't already checked out Sick the Magazine, it is unlike anything you've ever seen. It's more like a book than a magazine. The quality is unbelievable. It is grassroots. It's covering all of the events that you guys are at, not just what the pros are doing, and you'll love it. Subscribe now and get your copy reserved today. I am THE Robert Williams, according to some in the drag and drive community. Uh, this is my 77 Chevy Nova, which is known as Weapon X. Uh, it's competed in several different drag and drive events. The last one, of course, being Sick Week. <laughs> uh, I ran uh, Outlaw Street here at Rocky Mountain Race Week and just locked up first place. So all I gotta do is make the drive back to Great Bend and break the beams. It's I'm taking my wife out to dinner, and uh, we want to get to the ho to get to the restaurant before it closes, and then get to the hotel and get some sleep, so that we can do that 325 mile drive to Great Bend because we've already put down over a thousand miles on this thing. Try to figure out what's going on there. So hopefully we can pick that back up and go our 7 1 something.
So I'm Jeremy Courtney, uh, drive a strictly business truck, full-size Silverado. So we're running Limited Street, uh, which is 850 class, basically a 850 index. And uh, we just went 853, went 8511 yesterday at Bandamere, and I think our average is an 8524 right now, so uh, pretty much seals it up for first place. Now we just got to make the drive back to Great Bend and... Uh, Trip the beams, and I think we got it. The end of the track. Freaking awesome. To do that up here and with short, just a little bit of time we've got on that car is unbelievable. Well, the last one before that, it, it was wanting to make a left hand left and get out of the groove and I had to bring it back. So we put a little rear steer in the car, adjusted the shocks and she went right on down through there. And that's, I mean, they, they're saying that possibly could be the, the track record for here. So we'll see. You know, this week, this entire week has been rough, um, but we made it here. The car's together. We have a new strategy. Called the quest for the 20s. Low and slow. So we're gonna go out and make a nice pass down the drag strip with our street tires and uh, drive it back to the track in Great Bend, and then we'll be at Great Bend and we'll see what happens at Great Bend. So uh, I I've told a couple people this today, but I used to like hear Bailey talk about like he just goes all out every time, like it's gotta be fast kind of deal or whatever. And uh, 
I was like, that seems dumb. Like, don't you just want to finish the week? But now I kind of get it. Like, you're either going to break something and going fast or you're just going to not, not going to do it. So, like, an eight second pass doesn't seem cool right now. Uh, so, we're going to do for 20. I had a high score of 53 seconds yesterday, but I don't want to do that again. So, 20. Alright, I'm uh, Corey Thompson. I'm from Milwaukee, Oregon, and uh, 67 Chevelle Super Sport. This is my third year in that class. The first year, second year, I won the class and uh, pretty much just locked it up again today for the third year in a row. Um, last pass, it just finished up when a 798 at 182.7. Soft 60 foot, it was like a 139, so I had the front half pretty soft, but uh, motored out the back. Here. Two transmissions and now we're very in. But at least we're having fun. Woo! <laughs> I'm not sure Rick agrees. <laughs> man, we're not selling it. Oh man. Just breaking shit. Left and right. See the pinion? That's the leader right now. <laughs> yeah, we like the brake shit. So, hopefully we'll be up and running here in a few minutes. We'll get to make the next round. Uh, Travis Martin, this is my 2001 Chevy Camaro, uh, racing Rowdy Radio class with it. Well, we just, com well, we haven't completed yet, but currently have the fastest average in Rowdy Radio. So, lock that up tonight, now we just gotta make the drive to Great Bend tomorrow to seal the deal. Still struggling, about 100 foot out, clip traction control. Um, still want a 523 at 140 mile an hour. So, just need to get on a decent surface, get the 60 foot and 330 figure out of the level. But overall, it's a great pass. Went A to B, even though it flipped TC.
Yeah, so I was running Tom McGilden. Uh, we were doing a little grudge race and I uh, got out a little ways and started to shake the tire on me and got, got broke loose. So I had to pedal the car. And when I pedaled the car, I got a hold of it and got out on him. But the problem is, is it's, the shifter is set up to where if it sees an RPM drop, then it thinks it made the shift. So when I got back into it, I didn't reach over and manually shift it. It over RPM the, the blower and blew the blower up. So unfortunately, I don't have another one, so I'm probably done for the week. Um, but we had a great time and being out here showing everybody what we could do. So. Yeah, and the track was just starting to go away, and that was the hottest hit that we've ever had in it, and it just sent the tires up in smoke, so ended up just coming out of it and idling her down the track, so kind of kind of bittersweet, you know, I think, I, I don't know for sure, I'd have to look at the averages, but I think that uh, we lost it by, we lost first place by like three or four hundredths of a second, something like that, <laughs> so it's, uh, it's a little bit of a bummer, but uh, that's all right, we got, you know, we got a good solid combo and uh, the car still seems solid. So second place for a week and a half old car and first and unlimited for a week and a half old car. It's really not too bad. We'll, uh, we'll go out Friday on the, on the shootout and see if we can take them down in real old school drag racing.